Today I want to figure out the answer to a question. What type of vehicles are using San Francisco's bike lanes? The only real way I found to get this data was to actually go to locations and record video of the people in the bike lanes. And that's exactly what I did. I went to three different locations in San Francisco and recorded about 400 bike lane trips. Afterwards, I took all of that video and made screenshots so every bike, scooter, e-bike, one wheel, stand up, Segway, anything that went through there, I took a screenshot of it and then I put that into a database so I could sort of look at this data and see if what I thought was happening was actually happening. So I basically have three locations worth of data, but today we're just gonna look at Valencia. All right, <clears throat> based off of news reports, you would think that they're everywhere and they're this terrible nuisance that everyone is using to get around. However, when I actually looked at the data for this, that at least here in San Francisco was definitely not the case. What I found was that of the 400 trips that I recorded, just 12 of those trips were made up of scooters. Of those 12 scooters, nine of those 12 looked like they were purchased by the owner. I kind of thought that rentals would make something like 75 or 80 percent of scooter trips, but it actually ended up being completely flipped. Almost everybody that was riding a scooter in San Francisco was using one that they had purchased themselves. I think it sort of makes sense because scooters are so expensive per trip that it doesn't take very long to pay for one, especially if you're using it to commute. Something that'll probably not surprise anyone is 75% of the scooter trips were men. When I'm downtown commuting, I feel like I'm seeing them everywhere, but again, this is something where the data didn't really add up to what my perception was. Of the 400 trips that I counted, only three of them were electric skateboards. There could be a lot of explanations for this number, but I think the primary thing is just, since I have an electric skateboard, I'm looking at other people that have electric skateboards, where in reality, there aren't that many people using them to commute. Bikes made up 384 of the 400 trips that I counted, which is something like 96% of all the trips. Um, and I think there's great reason for that. Of the 384 total bike trips, it broke down like this. 340 of the bikes were traditional bikes and 44 were e-bikes. I think this number could be a little bit higher because it could be under-reporting e-bikes just because rear hub motors are also about the same size as a cassette and as you can tell from the video, you can tell the overwhelming details, but if they have a small motor and a small battery, it can be hard to tell. Of the 44 e-bike trips, nine of them are rentals, all of which were jump e-bikes. I knew that there was gonna be like a big disparity between these two, but I didn't suspect it to be that high. From some of the other statistics online I had seen, it looked like it might be something like two to one, um, but it looks like, at least on this day, it was much worse than that. Okay, I've got two more locations that I'd like to index the data on, particularly to see if that data looks a lot different than what happened in the mission. I don't think it will, but I don't really know until I actually like look at the numbers. I wanna record this again and see if the amount, if the ratio of electric to non-electric vehicles has kind of shifted. My hunch is that electric vehicles will be like a little bit more resistant to the bad weather, to the rain, to the wind than people on traditional bikes. So that's my hunch. But again, until I look at the data, I don't really know if that's true or if that's just another hunch that I have. That's about all that I've got for today. If you want to deal with this data directly, I'd love to give you a CSB Mm, CSV, then you're welcome to query yourself. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.